In this part we will add patrolling logic to our enemy AI and see how our graph gets complex due to using bull flags and branch nodes. Next we will use the concept of finite state machine to simplify our graph. I'll be using the project from previous video. We have those four red cubes which represents our patrol points. So to make our enemy patrol between those we need to go back to our behavior graph. We need to add the patrol logic to the second graph. Uh, instead of chasing if we abort chase logic we would go to the patrol logic. Well how about we use a conditional branch node. So let's right click add branch and we are going to select conditional branch. We can move the current logic below and delete the line connecting it to the on start and instead we are going to connect the on start to the branch on. Let's select it and let's in the inspector add a condition variable condition variable comparison. We are going to assign the target detected and if this is true now we are going to check if true we are going to go with our current logic. Let's use shift A and now we need to add here something to the false statement. We can right click add let's select patrol and we have this patrol node already created for us. Let's connect it to the false result so if target is not detected we're going to make the agent so let's assign here self patrol along waypoints. Let's select this we can see here a description moves a game object along a waypoints transform children of a game object and we can define the waypoints uh, we can define the speed in my case this will be four and the waypoint wait time so how long the enemy should wait before moving to the next waypoint now interesting setting is this pre preserve latest patrol point which allows the enemy to remember the last point it was moving towards when it broke into chase mode when it has detected the player and then lost the player. So if we check it to be true the enemy will remember the latest point it was moving towards. Now for the waypoints we are going to go to the blackboard let's use this plus icon and we are going to add a list and let's add a list of game objects let's call this patrol points and let's assign it to our self patrols along and let's assign here the list. Now obviously we want to stop patrolling in case the target is detected. So instead of having this abort if node in the true case we are going to use ctrl d to duplicate it and we are going to connect this to on start. I'm going to move this whole branch a bit below and we are going to connect it with this abort if and now we can delete this abort if here. So let's delete it connect to true the self navigates to node. Let's move it a bit downwards. And now instead of having this condition if target is equal to false we are going to go to the inspector and right click and delete this. And instead we are going to assign a variable condition variable value changed and I'm going to again assign from the blackboard target detected. So the moment target detected is changed it is true or false we are going to abort the current logic so either patrolling or chasing the player and we are going to start again by using the branch node and check the condition here. Save the graph and in the hierarchy we need to select our enemy and here in the behavior agent we are going to see this patrol points list. Now unfortunately if we lock it and try dragging all those points we're not going to be able to. Hopefully this will be fixed in the next version of behavior graph package. So for now we just need to add four points and we need to drag them one by one to those slots. And if you press play you will see that the enemy is pattering alongside this path that we gave it. Now if we go into the range of detection we are going to see that the enemy is attacking us. If we run away behind the obstacle and the enemy no longer sees us it will start patrolling again starting from this point the latest point that it has uh, saved in the graph and it will move along. Let's now add an idle behavior so when the enemy loses the player it should stop for a bit and stand still just looking around before going back to patrol logic. To add idle state we need to divide this side of the graph between the patrol logic, chase logic and idle logic. And for this we need to have another bull flag so that we can add another branch node. So let's go to our blackboard and we are going to add 
a new basic type boolean and we are going to call it is patrolling and another one plus basic type boolean is idle why do we need two bool flags well because in this on start in this detection branch if we are not detecting a player this node will run and we can't really set it always to be idle because if we are constantly patrolling and this runs if we are patrolling we want to set the idle to be false otherwise if we have just lost the player we want to set is idle bool flag to be true so in the true branch we are going to duplicate set target detected and let's try dragging is patrolling here and i'm going to assign it here uh, attach it we're going to set it to be false let's duplicate it again let's assign is idle here and let's again connect it so we are going to reset those bool flags for the false branch the matter is a bit more difficult but because if we are patrolling we do not want to stop but if we are not patrolling we want to go to be idle so we need to add here a branch conditional branch and we are going to add here a condition using the inspector let's check variable condition variable comparison and we are going to set, assign here is patrolling variable and if patrolling is true now if true let's duplicate set idle set is idle and if true we are going to set it to be false let's duplicate it if patrolling is false we are going to make uh, set the is idle to be true the idea is that if the range detector detects the player but the line of sight detector returns false we don't want to stop and stand idle every time we detect the player and for the try in order here in when we lose the player from sight we want to do basically the same so we are going to drag our line to the branch on and you can see that we can't really do this because we need to merge those two and we want to wait for any so any of those nodes goes here we want to perform this logic below so let's select those and let's choose shift a to make those aligned and now this will be the logic for the detector branch hopefully you can already see the problem if we keep on adding those bull flags to add more behaviors we will keep on modifying already existing logic and this is always dangerous because there is a potential for us to introduce a bug to already working logic so this is an issue to finish setting this up we need to modify the branch on the right so as i have mentioned we need to check now if we are patrolling or if we are idling and we need to move to the idle or go back to this branch that we have already defined if the target is detected we would go to the chase state if not we would consider if we want to go to patrol state or if we want to perform the idle uh, logic that we do not yet have so example solution would be to add to the false another branch on checking is idle is equal to true if this is true we are going to add our idling logic if false we are going to just perform the patrol logic now here in true we can set animation trigger or float actually and we can type speed magnitude which is you might recall is the float parameter that controls my movement blend tree in the animator let's drag here the self and we are going to set it to zero to stop the enemy from moving next we can add a wait node and we are going to wait for for example three seconds and next we can set variable and we can set the variable is idle to be false and lastly let's control d this and i didn't want to set this to be true and we are going to swap it for the is patrolling we are going to enable it and now i have just removed the arrows to clean this a bit now again our graph has become more complex and we had to modify existing logic based on this new behavior that we wanted to implement imagine if we add even more behaviors we would need to make the graph even more complex which again becomes problematic very fast well no matter let's test our logic if we show ourselves to the enemy it will start pursuing us in case we run behind an obstacle it will wait a bit before going back to patrolling now to remove this problem of complexity we often hear about finite state machine concept which basically is about dividing our logic between specific states and adding the transitions between those different states basically separating the logic and we can more easily modify only single branch 
and add transitions between those branches instead of modifying this kind of complex graph and we had to modify both logics the detector logic as well as the actual behavior logic so instead of multiple bool flags we define a single variable representing our state next we would check if we are in that state and we define what the state should do and if it can't do it we should check if we can transition to another state here i use try in order to trigger patrol behavior if the target detected becomes true in that case the second branch sets the state to chase because it knows what to do when the target is detected hopefully you can already see that modifying a single branch of our new setup would be much easier compared to modifying the previous complex graph also if we need to add a new behavior we would simply add a new state and define a new branch for it in our graph the simplest way to start converting it to a finite state machine implementation would be to go to our blackboard and use this plus icon to add a enumeration type and create a new enumeration type we have a new tab opened we are going to call this state so this is the name of the enumeration and we are going to add members so idle add member patrol chase and attack and now just create it and save the script a new variable should show up in your blackboard we can rename it right click rename to be just current state we can move to the right of our graph right click add we are going to search for switch and we should find it and let's assign here our current state and it should create for us this switch statement that allows us to define each state as a separate branch and the best thing is that we already have the logic for each state for the idle state we would select the logic that says the speed magnitude to zero let's disconnect it and let's try moving it to our idle state we may need to move it a bit so let's do that okay and let's connect it to the idle and this would be our logic without any transitions let's go to our chase logic here it is let's disconnect it and move it again to our chase state now let's separate those a bit so that we can fit the patrol logic and obviously the patrol logic is what we have for the branch is idle is equal to true for the false case so let's disconnect this and move it to the patrol and obviously the chase contains the attack logic so let's move the attack away and let's disconnect this set animation trigger attack and this wait and we are going to connect it together and assign it to the attack state we now have the logic for each state but we still need to define the transitions that each finite state machine requires starting with the idle state and its branch we can delete the set is patrolling and we are going to swap is idle for the current state variable and now we can modify it to set it to the patrol state so when we wait for three seconds we are going to go to the patrol uh, state now what happens if we detect the target in the meantime we obviously would want to duplicate this and set the current state to be the chase state now we need to connect it to our idle uh, state and we can select try in order to make it work because now we would need to abort this part so let's add right click add abort and we are going to select flow abort and we need to add here a condition let's go to the inspector and assign a condition and let's select variable comparison and we are going to assign here a target detected from our blackboard and we are going to check if this is true and we will add it between the in order so let's delete this connection let's connect it to abort if and we are going to abort this logic so this will go to this second set current state and we are going to set the current state to be the chase state i have updated the remaining branches so let me go through it the patrol branch will basically be the same as the idle branch you can select it ctrl d to duplicate it quickly and make it work for this basically the change is that we are checking if target detected uh, is true we are running here the self patrol along points instead of set magnitude node if the uh, target detected is true we transition to chase state 
For the chase state, we are checking if target detected is false and only then we abort. If not, we are going to navigate to target and set the current state to attack after we reach the target. Otherwise, we are going to set the current state to idle because this means that we have lost the player from sight. Lastly, we have the attack state, which is more complex than the others because we set the animation trigger attack to be true as we did before, but now before we can wait we need to try in order because we are going to abort if we have lost the target, otherwise we are going to wait for 2 seconds and again invoke the attack logic because we did not transition to any other state. Otherwise we are going to transition to idle state because from it we can go to the patrol state and chase state because it has already defined those transitions. Now one more thing that we can do is add here that if the target run away from us but it is still visible we want to skip it, right? So let's select the, this abort if node and in the inspector we can add another condition. Let's check for distance, distance uh, check the distance and we want to use it as a second condition and in this uh, graph we are going to assign distance between self and the target and which we are going to check if this is greater than, for example, 4.5, because this should work for my example. And obviously we want to select this and check in the inspector that we have this award if any are true. So if the target detected is false, we are not going to check the distance because the target might be null. Okay, so feel free to recreate this setup. And if you have it already, let's just disconnect our previous logic from the on start move the on start to this branch and let's connect it to our switch current state logic last thing that we need to do is clear this those bull flags from our detection logic so let's delete this set idle and set patrolling and we can actually delete this whole structure because now we only set the target detected because that's the role of our detection branch now this is just my way of implementing finite state machine concept into the behavior graph, I'm sure that you can figure out an even better way to do it. If you save the graph and press play, you should see basically the same logic as we had previously. If we show ourselves to the enemy, it should start pursuing us and going to the attack mode. If we hide ourselves behind an obstacle, it should stand idle and then go back to patrolling. If we enable debug mode in the graph, you should see that it goes through a single uh, branch. If we show ourselves to the enemy, we should transition to this chase branch and then to the attack branch and if we run away or try to run away, you should see that it goes to the chase, to the idle now and if it when it finishes to the patrol uh, logic and now everything is separate so it is much easier to check uh, and debug what is going on and obviously our detection logic runs as before. I really hope that this introduction series gave you an idea how you can implement enemy AI behavior into your own games using the behavior graph. If you found this useful, consider supporting me through Patreon. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it helps me a lot. See you in the next tutorial.